far home. <laughs> Abel. Hi guys, welcome to another episode. As you guys see, as you guys and girls, guys and girls, guys and dolls have seen in the previous episode, the lovely Haldun that I caught, 48 centimeter Haldun. All right. I'm going to show you guys now how I'm going to fillet this fish. All right, scales has been taken off already. This is not the traditional way to make a halyun. The traditional way to do a halyun is to obviously put it on the coals and braai it. One of the reasons is because halyun is such a fatty fish that you just, you can't fry it in a pan, so you need to put it on the coals, all right? The only reason why I am filleting this fish is because we're only two in the house and this is way too much for two people. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill it the one side off, I'm going to butterfly it. One side off, that is the side that we are going to eat. The rest of the side that's on the bone, I wrap that up and I'm going to freeze it up. All right, here we go. This is also not the proper knife to fill it, all right? But this is the sharpest knife that I've got in the drawer at the moment and my fillet knife broke. So this is the knife I'm going to be using. I'm basically just trying to keep it close to the bone as possible. The reason for that is I don't want to waste too much fish. Miss Videographer, what are we going to be eating with this? I have no idea. I've still got some nice chokka in the freezer that I cooked. How about that? Some nice chokka. Some crayfish tails. And mussels. Whoa! No pratons, huh? no pratons and some spicy rice with it. Uh, as I said guys, this is not the traditional way to do this. But I'm forced to do it this way because we are only two in the house. <clears throat> as they say, anything fresher is still swimming. And anything fresher than the fish that's still swimming is the big lie from the fisherman that never caught it. Once again, thanks to Albizo. He's the one that put me on this hole for this fish. Thank you to him again. Because as you guys previously saw in the previous videos, the conditions were pathetic. Water conditions were pathetic, really pathetic. I was almost on my way home, and then Alviso spoke me into go, let's go catch some Halyun. He's good, eh? He's good. But no, Alviso can't take all the credit, because I caught the fish. But thanks again, Alviso. Who the man? No, not you, Alviso. Andre's the man. Andre is the man, not Alviso. Here we go. One side done. So that's my one full of done. This is the fillet. So yes, this is the fillet. The one side of the fillet, this is the fillet that we're going to put in the oven. As I said, Haldun is not a nice fish when frying in the pan. Rather put it in the oven or put it on the coals. Alright, we'll get back to you a bit later when we prepare the rest of the, of the ingredients. Myself and Aileen, we're trying to bring the outdoor to your guys. Mobile device, PC, television. As promised in the previous episode that um, the Khadun that we caught, that we caught, not me, that we caught, all right, we'll be preparing it. This is not the traditional way to do it, but as I previously mentioned that there's a reason for it. Let's just give a rundown through the, what we'll be doing. We've got some nice Khadun that I filleted, a nice, a nice slab of Khadun, two slabs of Khadun. 
Then we've got, we've got some nice choca, also known as calamari. Fisherman knows, knows it as choca, calamari, locally caught on Cork Bay Harbour. Then we've also got some mussel, some garlic mussel. And then from yesterday's meal, we've got, this is what we've got from yesterday's meal. We've got some rice that we're going to make it into a bit of a spicy rice, of which we're going to mix some mussel. So Aileen will be preparing the rest, the rest of the ingredients. I call it the chalion. What she's basically doing here is she's she's cleaning the choka, also known as calamari. This was locally caught, cork harbor, cork per harbor, as I previously said. So basically she is busy taking the skin off, taking the guts out, taking the feather out. And then she'll decide from there what she'll do with it further. Guys, please forgive Aileen. She's a bit... Camera nervous, so she won't be speaking much. She'll just be keeping a silence for now, as you guys can see. She's cleaned that one completely. So tell me, Aileen, what will you be doing with, with us? Making steaks with it or just cutting it in rings? Cutting it in rings. Okay, what spices do you normally use? I just fry it in garlic butter. In garlic butter. And then tell me, should you put on any spices? Do you put on the spices before the time or after the time? Because I've heard so much stories that spices and any salt makes it makes it rubbery. So when do you prefer putting on the spices? Before or after? After it's done. After. And what is the result? Please tell me. Very soft. Very tender. And I suppose delicious. Of course, yes. Well done. Okay, so she's got the oven running already. Oven is running at preheating it at 180 degrees. What are we making? Savory biscuits with a smoked mussel. What's what's the story with the smoked mussel? With smoked mussel here? The smoked mussel, as you said earlier, will be used for the rice. To what? make some savory rice. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay guys, all the calamari, the choka has been cleaned. What she's basically doing now, she's got the head of the choka, of the calamari, and she's just cutting it just beneath the eyes. Just, just beneath the eyes she's cutting it, and basically that is also what we will be eating. The rest of whatever is left of the head of the squid, whatever is left of the head of the squid, that is what I'll be using as bait. That will be my bait. Nothing goes waste in this house. So we'll be catching a nice cob with the rest of the head of the calamari. So yes, as I said, we don't waste nothing here. That is what she's pressing out there. That's the little beak of the calamari, of the choka. She's just popping it out because that's a bit very crunchy and it's like two beaks, like a parrot beak. So what she's basically doing now is... The squid that she just cleaned, she's basically cutting it up into roughly into um, one centimeter thickness rings. Once it's done, oh, just pull there for me. So this is what you guys know as eating in the restaurant, calamari rings. But now you also see where it came from, comes from the squid. We, we would have loved to have done this Halyun on the coals. Unfortunately, that ain't gonna happen. It's a storm out here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
that was in my eye. Let's see how my other fishes are doing. Oh, they're doing fine. They're doing very much fine. Mm. Oh, chef at it. What the hell? Ingredients is coming nicely along. Muscle is ready, green pepper is ready, onion is ready, squid is ready, halyun is ready. Okay, she's putting the garlic muscle now. Obviously the pan is going to go into the oven. And are you putting the garlic muscle alone in the in I'm the add oven? The fish to it. You're going to add the fish also. Yes. Okay. Do you do this fish without spices, or what's the story? Here? I'm going to spice it now. Huh? I'm going to spice it now. Okay. Just thought. Okay, what you guys haven't previously seen is that is the black muscle and she's basically throwing out the oil into the pan. Instead of using olive oil or using fish oil or sunflower oil as we know it, as white people know it as sunflower oil, the colors know it as fish oil. And she's basically going to fry the, the green pepper and the onion in there, I suppose, am I right? That's correct. So the reason why she does it that way is because it gives the whole dish the flavor of smoked mussel. That's the reason why she does it that way. In goes the onion. Why do you say fruit in early? Because it's not sizzling yet. Lucy, what say you? Want to kiss? Say hello to the people. Hello. Say hello. Go get on your spot. Go to your spot. You in the way. Go to your spot. Go to your spot. Good girl. Now Lucy's not in the way. What did you just do there now? I messed up. Some garlic butter and apricot. Okay. Jam. Ah, I see, that's going to be the pasting for the fish. That's great. Don't need a lot, because how you is a very oily fish. Ah, okay. So you're going to slow in the butter? That's great. All right. So this is the, the garlic butter and the apricot jam that she just melted in the microwave. So she's basting the fish now with the garlic butter and the apricot jam. What spice is that that you're using? Fish spice. Fish Robert. spice. Robertson's fish spice. Okay. Putting some fish spice on. Looks awesome. In goes the green pepper. And the only ingredient that still comes with that is obviously the mussel that's left in the tin. And then the rice, the rice that we've got left from yesterday's lunch. So as I previously said, nothing goes waste in this house. Last ingredients that Aileen's busy with now. Busy cleaning the crayfish tails. Tell 
tell me what are you going to be putting on the gravy stills? Just so, or what? Or what's the story? Some garlic butter. Some garlic butter. All right. This meal is going to be fit for a king. Dit lijkt al klaar, wat een bek lekker. Wat spices is dat dat je putting on the tails? Iets eine palmens, garlic en hem. Wat we call it, in a parman. Wat even. Eine parman is for white people, in a parman is for colors. All right, so we use inner parman. And now it's going to the oven. Whoop, whoop. Oopa. I'm not going to put all of it in there. Eh? You sure? Okay, well now it's alright, it's fine. Then it's more muscle, that we can eat more muscle. <laughs> oh my word, I can take to work, it's fine. I just mean the less rice, the muscle will seem more. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you more muscle. <laughs> You guys must leave a comment at the bottom to let us know whether you want to see some more programs like this. We will be preparing the catch that we actually caught. And one thing we do believe in that I would say 99% of the time, the only time we, we will eat fish in this house, if it's fish that I've caught myself. I think the only time that we actually eat fish is when we're sitting by coffee, some coffee harbor. Am I right, sweetie? Yep. That's the only time we actually buy fish. But furthermore, we believe that I must catch the fish and that is what we eat. Yes, yes, guys. If only you guys could smell the flavors coming through this. Oh, through the phone. Ooh, all I smell is smoked muscle. Mm, we're actually in the pan again. <laughs> What do you need that? The pen. Ooh, woo! Throw mints. Yeah, mints means. Guys, <laughs> you're almost it. So we're braving that storm, that storm southeaster. Totally worth our while. Okay, but it wants. And then again for your marshmallow fishermen that stayed at home yesterday, Sunday, or at least when was it Saturday when the storm southeaster was blowing? This is what you guys missed out on. Last of the ingredients going in. Some garlic butter. And the garlic butter is for the squid, for the calamari. There you go. Thank you. some feedback on the choka on the squid that we're eating. This is local squid, previously said, caught on cork bay. Most of the squid that you guys are actually eating in restaurants, the majority of it is actually import calamari, import squid. Alright? 
South Africa is known to have from the best quality squid calamari, so the majority of our tons and tons of calamari and squid is exported. So we're getting more money for um, exporting it because it's export quality. What they then do is they import poor quality calamari and that the most of the calamari that you guys are eating in shops, that is the calamari that, that is imported. I can tell you guys, Local calamari, local squid, it's, it's got a unique sweet taste. Tastes much better than the calamari, than the squid that you guys are eating in the shops. Alright, very soft, very sweet, nice texture to it. So yes, you guys want to? Comment, uh, leave a comment at the bottom, you guys can join me one evening when I'm heading out to Corpe to go and catch some fresh, fresh choca. And maybe we can exchange ideas and mix and tricks. Let's have a shooter. For the coldest, unfortunately we don't have overround sherry. Because the liquor stores are still closed and the liquor stores only open at midnight tonight. That is when the liquor stores opens. There you go. You deserve that. Here we go, go. There goes my. Are we almost done here? Tell me, what are those pink pieces that, that's in there? Yeah. yeah. The tentacles. Oh, with the tentacles. Another thing, guys. If you have choker at home and you're using it for bait, and your choker is close to pink, guys, throw it away. It's not good. It's not healthy for consumption. And the chances that you are going to catch a fish on it, very small. The whiter your choker, the better the choker is. Whoop, whoop, we're starting to shoot. Ha <laughs> ha, clappickies, guy fox. That is one thing about choker, about squid, eh? When you fry it, it tends to shoot. I just hope I didn't don't bomb my phone up here. happening on the other side of the world. <sighs> hoo, hoo, hoo. We're getting there guys, we're getting there. Some inner parman again. Green bottle. As you guys saw, she threw the spices on last. What we have found out, because we eat such a lot of squid at home, because of the squid that I'm catching. Um, we have found out that if you put on the spices before frying it, it tends to get rubbery. That's the reason why we put the wild spice afterwards. Trial and error, we've learned by our mistakes. Whoop, whoop. Lovely stuff. No, guys, the muscle is not burnt. That's the way that Alien prefers it. Happy wife. Happy life. Yep. -o. How's the fish looking? It's nice, it's moist. You wanted a little. um. Nah, it looks fine to me. Okay. Looks perfectly fine to me. So yes guys. Yes guys, so that's pretty, that brings to the conclusion of another episode, another awesome episode. So this is what our meal consists of tonight.
If you guys like it, leave a comment at the bottom, like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, why not? Press the subscribe button. So yes, guys and girls, I hope my dad doesn't see this video. He is going to be so about us not sharing with him. But dad, don't worry, we kept the best for you. The parts on the bone is going on the coals and you invited to that bride. You guys watching this video, you are also invited to this bride via your mobile device, via your cell phone. If you guys would like some more of these videos, subscribe to our channel, please. Thanks for supporting us. You guys are awesome.